Okay, here's a little shorty on how to pump down your gauge set. Oftentimes you'll find when you pull your liquid line uh, line tap off, you will get soaked with liquid refrigerant and it hurts. Could be even damaging to your uh, fingers. Okay, there's a way that you can do this without getting a frost burn on your fingers. Now I'm showing you a set of hoses. They have valves on. They're low loss fittings. It's a, one of the types of valves that we can use uh, to do what we call low loss. Well, okay. If I want to get the liquid refrigerant out of my gauge set and out of my hoses, the way I can do that is really pretty simple. I go to the red line and I shut it off. Okay, now there is no continuity between here and here. This red line here has liquid refrigerant because it's on a liquid line. Okay. If I take and open the suction uh, line side and the liquid or the uh, high side, I'll get that up here. This line here has liquid in it. It's also at high pressure. You know it's 300, showing 300 now. I've got the valve off, so it's probably going to be a little lower. Okay, I can suck all this liquid out of here simply by opening this valve and opening this valve and that is going to bring the liquid into the suction side because the suction side is a lower pressure. Okay, when these things equalize out and they're pretty well equalized now I shut it off. Okay. Now, supposedly, I should have no liquid, or very little liquid, in the liquid side, because I've actually sucked it in the low side. Let's see if I do. So I'm going to take that line off I'm showing you right there. And let's see what happens. And bingo. I did not destroy my fingers. That's all there is to it. And you can take your low side off. Life is good.